You know why? Because when the Republicans went ahead and did Donald Trump's bidding of killing that border bill, right, the border management bill, Joe Biden took action. And he said, fine, you know, we're supposed to respect the process. They're, they're always saying we have to respect the process. The president doesn't have the power to do it. And then when they disrespected the process by doing Donald Trump's bidding and killing that border protection bill, then Joe Biden took him up on their offer that he had the power to do it, so he did it. And as a result of that, we've seen a dramatic influx of migrants coming in. So short of them going to knock on doors and find migrants and then bust them over here, their, their threat you know, fell on deaf ears here. They feel betrayed because they feel that a lot of the resources that could have come to them as American citizens are now being allocated to kids and families that have crossed at the southern border and were sent here to our sanctuary city and given um, access and seats to schools. So they feel really betrayed by that and they're speaking up and they're super frustrated. So those are the conversations that I'm having um, with people in my district. And and I think all of us get taxes taken out of our checks. None of us feel like we have a say in how those tax dollars are being spent. Some of us don't agree with how they're being spent. So my focus is finding the common ground. I'm not on the extreme right. Um, and I walked away from the Democratic Party in 2020 because it was a little too far to the left. So I'm here with all the middle ground folks going, we've got to make some changes here. Yeah, I would say vote Democrat. Vote Democrat because we're, we're taking care of business. I mean, it wasn't the Republicans who delivered the, the less influx of migrants coming in. That was Joe Biden. And if we win control, here's the thing, too, that I've said this many times as controller. I'm not happy about spending a ton of money on a migrant issue that I believe is a responsibility of the federal government to pay for. Right. So if they're going to allow people into this country, which we welcome that and they welcome them, then help the states that they're sending them to be able to afford that care. We want to provide responsible, um, you know, really conscientious, humane care to our immigrants or refugees that are coming in. But it's also unfair to just saddle the states with those debts. The reason why they can't just give immediate permits to everybody, which is the obvious thing to do here, if you're going to allow them to come in, you process them, you give them a worker's permit and let them earn and provide money to the tax base instead of taking from it. The reason we can't do that is because it has to be passed congressionally. This is why we have to elect Democrats, because we know what the solution is. We just need the power in both chambers and the presidency to get it done. So you want to fix this issue? Vote Democrat. Democrat.